Good morning everyone. What is this now? Day 5? I hope it is. I don't want to be losing track of days already. So I left my campsite back there in the blazing sunshine. It's the first day since I've been touring that I've been able to pack a dry tent. And I've just got underway and the sun's gone in and there's big grey clouds looming over me. It's one of those weeks. So I was editing day three last night and uh, my squeaky pedals and what was it? Yeah, squeaky pedals and the wind noise. Oh, my apologies for that. There's not a lot I can do about wind noise, but the squeaky pedals, I just need to clean my cleats a little bit more often. As you can hear this morning, they're nice and quiet. Hopefully they stay that way for a while. So this morning we'll reach Venlo. I say this morning, probably lunchtime, maybe just after. I've left quite late today. It's nearly 10.30 already. But we'll get to Venlo. And just beyond there we're into Germany. Country number two. So this evening we'll be camping in Germany. Yeah, this sky looks a bit threatening. Fingers crossed it's going the other way. Of course it never actually looks threatening on the camera. And as you can see the sun's out just a little bit at the moment. It's in and out of the clouds. But over there it looks threatening. Ah oh well, we'll see. Right, I'm going to do some miles. And I'll catch up with you later. I'd better talk about these uh, bags that I'm using at some point. Mm. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it's just started sprinkling. There's some light showers about, so I've had to put the jacket on. But it probably means I'll have to keep the camera in the bag until it all goes over. I'm under a tree at the moment, so... But I'll get back to you when I can. So I've made it into Venlo. It's still drizzling. So I've stopped under this big tree. That's giving me some shelter for a minute. That's the River Mars. And I shall be crossing over Somewhere near that bridge to the other side. Near that bridge, if I can get it to focus. It's better, I think. Yeah, I'll be crossing over and to the other side and then not far beyond that is the German border. That's if we can find it. Last time I crossed into Germany there were not even any signs, so we'll see. If I can spot the border, I'll stop and show you.
Well, then those behind me now. Sorry you didn't get to see more of it, but it was raining, as always. So I stopped there for lunch, that was quite nice. And uh, kept me out of the rain, kept me dry. But as I say, unfortunately now we're leaving, the rain stopped. There we go. It is what it is. Now, I'm about to leave the Netherlands. How do I know that? Because what the camera won't show you up in front of me is a hill. This is where I start to wish that I'd left the electrics on the trike. <laughs> but I'll talk more about that some other time. goes nothing. Left turn. <sighs> oh, nobody told me it'd be uphill to get to Germany. <laughs> like I say, you can't even see it in the camera. Oh, it's a bit of a test. After a whole week of flat. So, just to give you some idea of what weight I'm carrying, my kit Here's about 25 kilos. That's without food and water. The trike is about another 20, I think 22 kilos. And I'm just over 90. So what will exactly give us? 130 something? 130 something kilos to push up the hill. Ah. Oh, but we're there. We did it. And I'm still breathing. So, an old faded sign for Germany. Country number two. And this is a cycle path, and that Germany, no cycle path. Oh well. <laughs> they literally have cycle paths in the Netherlands, right up to the border. Alright, here we go then, into Germany. Well, as soon as the traffic clears. little spot right on the border there. I don't know why, it just seemed to be a garden centre, that was about all. There we go, we're in Germany. I know about as much German as I did Dutch. Oh dear. <laughs>
right, there appears to be a cycle path on the other side. I'm going to go for that. Shame there was no signs telling me. Ah, that's better. Oh, I was getting a cold sweat for a minute. <laughs> So I'm going to be at the campsite in a moment, got about two kilometres left to do and uh, I just realised I haven't really filmed that much today. I mean obviously there's been the problem with the rain but also it's like last day in the Netherlands is pretty much the same as the first and all the other ones in between so it was difficult for me to find anything really to point the camera at. But tomorrow should be a better day, we're in Germany now, we're going to head down towards the Rhine River. I want to show you some of the German countryside. Poor woman there at the back. She wasn't looking and she saw me and then panicked. A little bit of a wobble on. There we go. You can see where we're going now. Although you'll have to put up with the wind noise. One thing that I do now is that the Germans like their privacy even more than the Dutch do. I can't blame them, I wouldn't like people pointing the camera in my face either. I think the Germans actually have laws to control it though, don't they? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know whether it's still the same, but when I was trying to do Google searches back in 2018, Germany just refused to allow Google to have street view. So there was no street view anywhere in Germany. I don't know whether it's still the same now or not. I've arrived. 